All right, so this is called a scribbly line artwork. You're going to be using line and color. So this is a curvy line, and it's going to be kind of scribbling. So you're going to need a black marker. So what your black marker is for? You kind of just do a scribbling line that comes back and forth on itself, like this. Okay, so now you're ready to pick the colors you want to color your scribble drawing. And you're going to pick three colors. Three colors. And this is how you're going to pick them. So if you look at this color wheel that I made with my crayons, uh, so these are some crayons we have at home. Um, some are nice crayons and some are ones we got for free from Olive Garden and different places. Um, so I tried to make a color wheel. Um, color wheel has three primary colors, so those are the colors that you can't mix. Yellow, blue, and red. So here's my red, yellow, blue, and red. Those are the primary colors. Okay, and you see where they are on the color wheel. But when you mix those two colors together, you can make different colors, like when you mix red and yellow together, you'll make orange. If you mix red and blue together, you'll get purple. If you mix blue and yellow together, you'll get green. Those are the, called the secondary colors. And then all of these other colors you make by mixing those colors together. So when you mix green and yellow together, you'll make yellow green. And you can tell it's yellow green because on some of the crayons they say it right on the thing. I don't know if you can read that. But that says yellow green on it. And some other ones, this one says yellow orange on it. Um, this is supposed to be uh, reddish orange, but that's the closest I had. It's not exactly right. So when you're picking your colors, <clears throat> you want to pick three colors that are opposite on, on the color wheel. So what you want to do is take a triangle like this, and this is how you pick the colors. So you make a triangle, and the three colors that it points to, you pick those three colors because they usually look really nice together. So the colors that right now, it's blue, yellow, and red. But if I turn this triangle a different way, like this, now it's green, purple, and yellow orange. So those would be the colors that I use. And then I can turn this any way I want. And that's how I'm going to choose which three colors I'm going to pick. So this way, or this way, this way. So whatever one you want, you pick one, and then you pick those three colors. So I think I'm going to do it like this. So I'm going to do purple, yellow, green, and orange. Those are the three colors I'm going to choose. All right, so yeah, I take the three colors that I chose, the purple, yellow, green, and the orange. And do you see how your scribbly, your scribbly curvy line has now come back on itself and it's made some different shapes. So you're going to take your color and you're going to color those shapes in. So I'll take one of the colors, color that one in. I'm going to color this whole shape that's made by the scribbly line so that it's nice and neat. I don't want to see any of those little white spaces. I don't want to scribble. I'll color really nice like that. Three star coloring right there. Now you pick a, you can take a different color and find a different shape. So here's another shape that's made. It kind of looks like a football or an eye shape because it's got points on both ends. So I'm going to color that one in with my yellow green. Nice and neat. No scribbling. And then find another shape. I got purple still. Here's a big shape. Kind of looks like a teardrop because it's got pointed on one side. And this would be scribbling. Don't color like that. That's lapis. That is sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Don't do it like that. Color nice. Take your time. You got lots of time. So don't. Don't rush. Make it look nice. 
Like one of our eighth graders did it. Color really beautiful. Then you keep going using just those three colors. If you find all the shapes that you've made and color them a different color with your colors. And if you find that you didn't make enough shapes with your curvy line, just take your marker and keep going. Take your line, start at one end, start at one end with your marker and just kind of draw some more if you didn't make enough. All right, so this is my artwork. I've finished it. I've now, don't feel like you have to color every shape, because I have one big shape here that I didn't color. I left white. But if you have a couple that you leave white, <clears throat> that's okay. You can leave some of them white. Um, and then I finished it with purples and yellow-green and the orange color. Now, if you have a piece of black construction paper at home, um, it would be nice. You can, and you can glue it down on there, kind of like a frame. Or if you have any kind of colored construction paper, you can glue it down, just kind of put a little glue in the corners on the back and glue it down, try to get it right in the middle. Um, and then here's two more examples. These are my kids, so if you have a little brother or a little sister that wants to do artwork too. Here's one. And this is my son, he's five years old. He was able to do one that looked like that. So, have fun, do a good job. All right. Bye-bye. Hi. Hi. See there? This is my picture. And this, this is Amos' picture. I'm three years old. Daddy's picture. I'm three years old.